Yes. All right, ludicrous mode, go. Hey guys, what's up? My name is David, and in today's video, we're gonna overhaul this electric longboard that I picked up. I got it off the marketplace, I wanna say it was like 40 bucks, or I traded something for it. To be honest, I can't remember because it's been a few years and this has been collecting dust in my garage. So it's a WowGo board. And to be honest, I actually didn't know that much about them. And I did a little bit of research. Turns out they're pretty awesome long boards. The reason I only paid 40 bucks for this board is because it didn't have a good battery. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how I rebuilt this board, got a new battery for it, got it all working, and we're gonna go test it out. Let's get started. Welcome to Let's Build This. My name is David, and I love to design, build, and fly. Join me as we discover those three areas and more. My first plan was to build a battery pack out of some spare cells that I have lying around. But then I realized that I have this 56 volt Ego battery from my yard tools that is just the right size. So I connected up some jumper wires to test it out. The board powered right up and the remote connected with no problem. Now to test the motors. Yes, we are in business. Ego, meet WowGo. I'm calling this board WowEgo. Now let's design out a clip for the battery and refine it. I use Fusion 360 for design. It's free for personal projects. I linked it down below. I also added these channels underneath to pass in the cables. Then I 3D printed the part. I use a Snapmaker A350 for printing. For the electrical, I sacrificed this charger. Anything with a flip plug will do, as we're really just after these contacts. Then we need an XT60 male connector and the appropriate sized wire. I tested the 3D print and it fits great. All of the refinements have been added and you can download the STL file down below. I pressed in the contact pins on both sides, added both wires, got them all soldered up. Then I mounted the clip and plugged it in. All right, this thing is ready for prime time, so we are gonna go test it out. I'm first gonna test this out uphill on slow mode because, yeah, it's pretty fast. <laughs> you can feel a torque on this thing, wow. So I switched directions on the board. The board still wants to go uphill, so I'm gonna try to see if I can use this as a brake which yeah, seems to work. Okay, so we are going probably about seven, eight miles an hour just on our own down the hill. We're gonna use this thing for braking. Oh, this is so nice. It is so nice being able to do that. It's like, oh yeah, I'll just use this to, yep. Oh, I'm going too fast, slow down. Just, all right, now let's go up the other way. I'm actually GPS tracking my speed, so let's take a look at how fast that run was. It says I have poor GPS reception. Let's see how it goes. Trip history. All-time maximum speed, 11 miles per hour. That's, that's at 11 feels good. You know, it's like a nice cruising speed. All right, so we're gonna test out the three different speeds on this, slow, medium, and fast. And we're gonna do these ones going uphill. It's just a slight incline up, but it's still uphill, so I don't expect it to be like blistering speeds going uphill, but we'll test it out and see how it goes. Let's see what, what our top speed is on slow mode. All right, let's do this. Now keep in mind, we, we are going uphill. All right, so that says our top speed was 12 miles per hour on slow mode. And that's not really opening this thing up. It's got three modes. So I just press this and it switches to medium speed and then fast speed and then back to slow speed. So I don't even wanna try this on fast speed because this thing accelerates pretty quickly, but let's go test it out and see how it can go. All right, this is speed test number two. So we are on medium speed, slow, medium, yeah. see where we ended on that one. All right, so it said 13 miles per hour, so a little bit faster, 
This thing definitely has a lot more in it. Now, one thing that would be nice to have on this is to be able to use the controller and just go both directions with it. I can switch the directions, but it's a little switch on the back. I'm sure the newer boards already have that. Okay, we are now on fastest mode. So let's make sure we record this. All right, ludicrous mode, go. nice having the grass to just stop in <laughs> okay 14.3 so keep in mind these are all going uphill <laughs> i don't even want to know what it's like going downhill because it already feels quick all right so my honest opinions on this this thing's pretty quick i mean you might be saying oh 14 is not that fast i mean pretty impressive for going uphill to be honest uh I want to just cruise around on this thing i'm not looking to do blistering speeds now when i'm skiing in the mountains going downhill Sure, I'll go way fast doing that, but I've been skiing since I was a little kid, and when you land on the snow, it's a lot softer than landing on the concrete. If I've got a nice stretch of concrete, maybe I'll top this thing out sometime. I'm still getting used to it, but overall, it's super fun to ride, and I think the thing I'm most happy about is that where I live, there's a ton of hills here, and so the fact that I can go downhill and use the motors to slow me down is a huge plus. It makes it so you can have a nice, enjoyable cruise, not get going too fast and just enjoy it. So I'm super happy with it. It does accelerate really fast, but the throttle is super nice because it's spring loaded. And so you can kind of ease into it as you go, which is super handy. I'm super excited that I already have a battery that works for the skateboard. It wasn't too much work to model up a clip get it mounted, wire everything up, and go test it out. The remote and everything worked perfectly. The original factory one, I think, does about 19 mile range on it with the 2.1 amp hour battery. This battery is a 2.5 amp hour. So I'll probably get about that much range out of it. Not sure, we'll find out on that one. So some things I wanna to do to this in the future, I've got these eight inch tires that I need to make some wheels for, and that will make it a much smoother ride. I'm gonna widen the stance a little bit, it's just gonna make it really stable, really smooth to cruise around on any pavement, any concrete, any scenario. I also wanna lengthen it and build this custom frame out of chrome ollie. And I wanna build in a suspension system to it so it smooths out the ride even more. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing more on this, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like. If you've got a comment, leave it down below and you can find more videos right here. Till the next one, have a great day.